excited about tonight? What do you got? Is this movie trivia game between the R- the intern formerly known as JTI, now JTE, the engineer, and Copser. This feud is going to end, and it's a movie contest. It is Dude. time for the ultimate showdown. I'm so excited. You know I love this stuff. This is the stuff dreams are made of. Of the movie trivia showdown, I'm Christian Harloff. I am Mark Ellison. Christian, this is why you go to the movie. And you talk about head to head. You have John. Here Campion. comes the outlaw, John. No one that more. She is going to be someone to look absolutely after. Wild man, yeah. Josh McCuga. Ray Drake, the favorite. Jeff Snyder has come out of nowhere. Novi Mance himself, the man's man. Got Finstock, who might be the luckiest person. Showdown champion, Mark. That right. Mighty Matt knows a Can champion. See a new superstar in. Drew McLean. For the record holder, William the Beast Vivian. Drake is going to be around for a bit. Jason Inman. Mike Kalinowski certainly is a good time. He's not unknown anymore. Where do you see Dan Merle's future going in this show? Oh, he's going to go very, very far. I can't wait to see where the rest of this series goes. And you'll win! Please say it again. No, no. Give it to her. Champion of the world once again! Remember journey here. Remember the destiny that brought justice to the Schmodown. This isn't just a game for those of us who play. We work hard to win, to play, to do everything, to show up and give you a damn good match. We are the league. We're in the league and we're the winners right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia Schmodown. such an honor for all of us at the Movie Trivia Showdown to be in the place where the 1985 Monsters of the Midway took home a Super Bowl championship. This is the city where Michael Jordan brought home six NBA world titles. This is the city where Brian Erwacker had hair restoration surgery. Now, whether you guys are in town here in Chicago for a little convention happening down the street, whether you're watching somewhere else in the world, you guys probably noticed a little trailer drop yesterday for a film called The Rise of Skywalker. Now, whether you were actually at that convention watching that trailer, whether you were somewhere else around the world, whether you were like me in your hotel bathroom trying to film a reaction vid, <laughs> you were all probably shocked at the end of that trailer when you heard a laugh that you have not heard in some time. You heard a little giggle, and everyone around the world was stunned. 
except for one man. <laughs> Only one human being was not surprised to hear Emperor Palpatine giggle at the end of the teaser trailer, and that man must himself be a Sith Lord. So please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the stage my partner in crime, the chairman, Christian Darth Harlow! Man, this is uh, this is awesome. We're gonna see right away. It's true. I guess I was gonna do it. I'm, I, I was gonna do it. Not only do it once. Zoobly zoo. Only once. Only once. <laughs> only once. Only once. But listen, guys, you guys are here, and I'm very excited that you're here. We are going to be putting on a hell of a show tonight. I mean, a thousand people in this place is nuts. It was something. It was funny because Dagnino, which is crazy. Uh, actually said something smart before. Um, I know. He walked up, well he walked up, he goes, remember this, look at this. And he said, this, the first time we did this, it was JTE fuddling around in this little booth, ants in Triceratops Taurus Totus Tops, you know? <laughs> and now look at it, buddy. Look at us, look at us, two schmoes. Started in a pizza place in Anaheim, and if I can just pay you a compliment, sir, I have never seen you work a telephone that well. You're usually pretty fiddly with the old iPhone. I just shut it down because I was worried. <laughs> I was like, I knew it was going to be on my pants, and people were like, it's still on, dummy. So I was like, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to shut it off. I did it, and it worked out. It was the energy, man. I could feel the energy, and it's not only the fact that the the big crowd and and the passionate fans and everybody that we run into already. It's the fact that I'm as much of a fan of this as you guys are. Like, that's why I, we do it, is because, like, we yeah, man, we get, this is our sport, right? This is our sport. This is the one, it's like, we, we feel it. You can tell that I was on the radio on, on WGN here on, uh, I think it was, like, Thursday night. And I told, I was telling Justin, the host, this, these guys, these competitors are like mental athletes with, with stuff that they put themselves through, how serious they take it. And the first match tonight is a championship match, and it's the Star Wars championship. Yeah. You got... You got, like yesterday, I mean, obviously, if you weren't at the convention yesterday, you're getting spoiled here watching the live stream, but, you know, just, unfortunately, we just couldn't air it, but Joseph Scrimshaw took that five-way, and Laura Kelly, by the way, yep. and Andrew yep. Dimal wow, yep. wow, Laura Kelly, Dimalanta, I mean, uh, Molly Damon, and, and Andrew, uh, they all played so hard, but Scrimshaw took it, and he really wants to take the title, but I don't know how, Damon, he's like, he's like unbeatable. Well, he's very uh, Star Wars heavy in the mythology of this match now, too, because Joseph Scrimshaw, you look at it, it's a lot like the famous words, from a new hope, if you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Right. Joseph Scrimshaw has tasted defeat. Will he come back and be some weird sentient force ghost here tonight? Will he be a shade of blue? We're truth. about to find out. Well, and it's the second, I believe it's the second title we've ever put on the line in a live event. Mark, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, Christian. That deep dish is sitting in my tummy, and I am ready to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing going. Let's schmo down. These five competitors are going for that coveted prize. If they win here today, they will get a shot at the reigning champion. We have Alex Damon, who does a show called Star Wars Explained. You know what he does? What he he do? explains oh, Star nice. Wars! Oh, okay. And comedian Joseph Scrimshaw from the Force Center podcast, who is obsessed with the galaxy far, far away. Yeah, this is no. I'm coming back. I still want that belt. Time to slow down! And who's ready for some magic? Alex Damon is here. I'm here for redemption. I want to try again. Joseph Scrimshaw's in the house. Hello there. It's down to Scrimshaw and, and Alex Damon. So what's next for you? I want another shot at Alex. 
April 13th, Mr. Alex Damon, Star Wars, explained himself, puts his title on the line, and it goes down during Star Wars celebration. I've got the best coach in the world. This is my wife, Molly. She handles all of it. Please welcome Andy Blanchard. Alice Laura, nice. Force Toast Pod. I'm Andrew Dimata, Schmidt on Patreon, and the newest Star Wars competitor. I just want to let you all know that I'm excited to meet you, and let's give them one hell of a match. Named the Jedi, killed while riding a speeder bike on the planet Seleucami in Revenge of the Sith. Scott Ali. until I face Sam. May the Force be with me! How about that? How about that, Mark? I mean, I'm hyped up already. You look at that, you look at that, you, like, you really can see these are two competitors from the first time they were on that Fatal Five to where Sam Whitworth ultimately took it, but it was where, that's where Scrimshaw and Damon popped. That's when, well, look, well, look out for those guys. That's, they rose inside of the division and they started forming this rivalry. And it's like, Damon has always edged out Scrimshaw by that much. Yeah, but then you think about what the live element is going to do to a competitor because Joseph Scrimshaw, as I saw as recently as last night, the guy is a killer on stage whether it comes to stand-up, whether it comes to Star Wars knowledge, Alex Damon, he's been in similar moments like this. He does this at Dragon Con every year. He answers Star Wars questions and a lot of them very correctly. So I don't think the bright light's going to get to either competitor, but will these thousand people start to affect them? Oh, well, that's the question. Or will, or will it, or will it energy? Um, well, anyway, so with that, the notable accomplishments to where Joseph Scrimshaw won the Fatal Five, has been neck to neck with uh, Damon, has been number one contender before. Alex Damon has the title defense, looking for his third consecutive win in the Star Wars division. And with that, Mark, are you ready? Prepared. Well, say it with me, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia Schmoda! Five rounds for the Star Wars Division Championship. Introducing first. Number one contender in the Star Wars division. He is Joseph the Jedi Scrimshaw. Joseph Scrimshaw. Bringing a beer on the, the stage. The challenger, Christian. yeah. Oh, he's giving himself a beer, Mark. Look at that. That is power. He's using the that force to drink alcohol. Well done. Hello, sir. Hello, nice to see you. He's got a few words I think he wants to say. I would like to say just a few words about my competitor. He is a noble man. I have studied hard for this competition by watching his videos. I've worked very, very hard for this title. I have gone through many different competitors. They were all very good people. And now, the thousands of years of their knowledge lives inside of me. And tonight, if the force is with me, which it might not be, this will be 
The Rise of Scrimshaw. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. What, what a moment from the challenger coming out here. Christian, well, he literally referenced a trailer that dropped yesterday. Yeah, well, he's not going to have to wait much longer. And his opponent. Representing Star Wars Explained. Led to the ring by his wife, Molly Damon. He is the reigning, defending, movie trivia schmodan, Star Wars champion of the world, Alex the Demon Damon. Record of three and one, Alex Damon looking for The champion making his way to the ring. He is Alex Damon. Was he felt by Alex the Demon? Damon. Molly Damon. Horace taking up the rear there. Sign of respect. These two rivals. They respect each other, but they are indeed Star Wars rivals. Champion and the champion's wife are taking the title away. Christian, I enjoy this matchup. One competitor brought a belt to the ring, the other a beer. What's going to happen? <laughs> it's the truth. All right, so as our competitors sit down, Mark, what are the rules for this five-round title match? You take a quick nap. I'll let everybody know what the rules are. This is a title match. It will be five rounds long. In the first round, the field of competitors will hear 10 questions from 10 different categories, nay, 10 questions. That's right. We got it the first time. 10 questions. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. You're going to hear a question. You're going to have about 15 seconds to write down the answer. Please write legibly as possible. And when we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show your whiteboard to us, to the audience, to the cameras, and verbalize your answer into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the jeté rule throughout the duration of the match. And each competitor also has one challenge that may be used at any time. Back to you, Christian. That's right. 15 seconds to answer the question. And with that, we'll ask the challenger. Are you ready? The force will be with me, maybe. <laughs> Ask the champion, are you ready? I got lost on the way to the stage, but I'm ready now. All right, and if that's the case, let's get ready to schmodown! All right. Here we go, guys. Question number one. In the realm of a new hope, John Dutch Vander flies into the Battle of Yavin with which call sign? Do we have it on good? Is it Yavin or Yavin? Or does it? It's whatever you want it to be. Like, like Baba or Boba Fett? No, that's definitely Boba. It's Billy Joe Jim Boba Fett. Just stop talking. Five, four, three, two, one. Alex. Gold leader. Yes. And Joseph. Gold leader. Tie game. All right. Your next question comes from episode two Attack of the Clones. <laughs> and your question is, who is Yoda speaking with when he admits blind we are if creation of this clone army we could not see? I feel like they really jazzed up Yoda's like misdirectional speech Sometimes. in the prequels. Yeah. The guy wasn't making any sense in those It's a good gimmick. Five, four, three, two, one, and Joseph. Mace Windu. Yes, sir. And Alex? Mace Windu. Two, two. Two, two. All right. In the category of Mark Ellis' favorite movie, Return of the Jedi. Yum nub for life. All right. All right, here we go. What did Moff Gerard tell Darth Vader he needed to complete the construction of the second Death Star? What? It's excuse Moff me. Jer what Jer did Josh? Jesus. What did? Jer Gerard. Thank you. What did Moff Jer Gerard tell Darth Vader he needed to complete the construction of the second Death Star? You know what they call uh, Jer Gerard on the ship? They just call him Jer Bear. Yeah. 
Don't let JTE say it. Five, four, three. That's a comedy store two, paid regular, ladies and gentlemen. One, pens down, and Alex. More men. Yes, and Joseph. I need more men. Yes, okay. Tie, we have three, three. All right, next one. All right, we go to a movie that I waited in line three days to see. That is The Phantom Menace. And your question is, in episode one, what is the alphanumeric designation of the Naboo Starfighters? And boy, are we getting to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Not like a who played Luke kind of question. People always ask me, why do you compete? <laughs> Questions like this. Five, four. We're not even able to write the questions three, anymore. Two, one. Pens down, please. And Joseph. N1. Yes, and Alex. N1. Look at these two. Four, four. Or three, three, excuse me. What is it? Four, four? Four, four. Four, four. Four, four. All right. Next question. Next question, number five. Force Awakens. Force Awakens. This famous veteran of the Galactic Civil War came out of retirement to join General Leia's resistance. Who is it? A little added flair on the end of that question. Well, yeah. It was very Regis Philbin. Yeah, I, Who is it? Who is it? Tell me, come on. Five, four, three. Telling a story. Two, one, and Alex. Admiral Akbar, may he rest in peace. Yes, and Joseph. This question is not a trap, Akbar. That's right. You know, I always totally forget Akbar's not with us anymore. Oh, you don't remember? Tabut, <laughs> tabut! Oh, God. Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. He should have been with us, though. It's a he got silly decision. Blown to bits, sadly, he could not have the funeral he wanted being flushed down a no. toilet. He's a fish guy. Your next question comes from Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, and gentlemen, your question is, which clone trooper is the first to receive the Order 66 message from Darth Sidious? You think all the, all the troops giggled if he said Order 69? <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, Two, one, pens down, please, and Joseph. Cody. Yes, and Alex. Cody. It is. Six, six. Cody Hall, that's a wanger. Six, six. I added a, a sad face because it is a sad scene. It is. You're right. <laughs> Extra point? No, I'm sorry. I can't Alex, if you could add more emotion to your answers. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably won't. All right. All right, next question, gentlemen. The best movie in the franchise, The Empire Strikes Back, is the next category. <laughs> While on Dagobah, who did Luke say that he saw in his forced vision, causing him to lose focus and abruptly end his training with Yoda? Start to feel because we're going to do perfect. Friends. Five, yeah. four, three. Two, one, pens down. Alex? Han and Leia. Yes, Joseph? Han and Leia. Tied up. This is a championship match. We needed both names. They gave us both names. We did. Your next question is from the movie A Star Rogue One Wars Story. <laughs> and your question is, Admiral Raddus commanded the Battle of Scarif from the deck of what rebel capital ship? Seen that movie like eight times? No, I just expect one of them to be like. <laughs> yeah. These guys fart more correct answers yeah, than I know. Yeah, that's true. Five. He did it just now. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Joseph. Profundity, smiley face. That's right, Alex. The profundity, no smiley face. Tie <laughs> game. What a battle. What a battle. Impressive, and the crowd is giving them the respect that they deserve here. Hello, right wisdom. Hello, profundity. All right, guys, two questions left in, in round one. The Last Jedi is the next. The Last Jedi. Uh, very divisive, just, just like the move. Christian, I noticed our online chat just spiked when you said those words. <laughs> the whole thing just crashed. All right, here we go. The casino on Canto Bight can be found on what outer rim planet? Name of the planet. Name of the planet. The 
murmur in the crowd. It was just like a like an uneasy rip every yeah. time it's true. those three words get said. Right. Five. It's like the winter soldier. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Alex. It's located in the corporate sector of space, Cantonica. Yes, Joseph. Cantonica. Tie game. Nine, nine. So how about this? If they both get this next one right, Mark, they, get them, they both get a bonus question because they'll have themselves a perfect round. All right, here we go. Your last question comes from the movie Solo, a Star Wars story brought to you by Denny's. <laughs> Your question. This class of stormtroopers protect the conveyor's transport on the snowy planet of Vandor. Need the class of stormtroopers. You can't just write stormtrooper and get it right. You know the guys with the 110 on their back? Yeah. Not good, good enough. Good, good job, Shill. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, Joseph for the perfect round. Range Troopers. Yes, and Alex for the perfect round. Range Troopers. Wow! <laughs> wow. Did ten. you expect any different? Did you what? expect any different from these wow. two? Wow. 10-10. Woo! All right. All right, so here's how it works. These guys will both get the same question here. And it w extra question. One point. One point for the bonus, gentlemen. Here we go. Who played Weasel? a pod race spectator in Phantom Menace that became a marauder in Solo, a Star Wars story. Hello and welcome to the Dune Sea Rally. <laughs> I love the announcers. No. Fans. Love them. Should add subtitles. Five, four, three, two, one. Alex. Warwick Davis. Yes, Joseph. Warwick Tie Davis. Tie game, 11, 11. What a round one! What a championship round one! And now we switch ourselves into round two, Mark. It's the wheel round. How's that go? Well, in the interest of time, we should have skipped to the five-point question for each one and call right. it a day. In round number two, this is known as the wheel round. Now, the wheel was very sorry, but it had family obligations and could not make the trip. However, we do have an electronic wheel for you, gentlemen. It is still the wheel of fate, d uh, justice, you carry it. and destiny. <laughs> The wheel for today's match is a sponsored wheel, and it is sponsored by Schmodown patron John Layton. How about a hand Woo! for John Layton? Sponsoring, and the ones, the, uh, the two slices that John wanted to sponsor were the Phantom Menace and Rogue One. Thank you, John, Thanks, John. Layton, for your patronage. Now, in round number two, each competitor is going to hear five questions. It's a championship match, so five questions each. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, there is stealing available in round number two. If you're not sure of the answer to the question we ask you, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. You see the beautiful wheel on the screen behind you. Uh, Joseph, Alex, you guys are tied right now, but Alex, you are holding a very pretty belt, so you have the option. Would you like to spin first, or would you like to defer to your drunk opponent? I'll let Joseph go. You let Joseph go, okay. I didn't realize there were... All right. All right, here we go. Joseph's gonna use the force. <laughs> and there you go, it look worked. at the force. Good move. It's it impressive. The, the opposite spin. way, very impressive. Look at that. Yeah, and there's the spin. All right. Round and round it goes. Yeah, and it's landing on... <laughs> Meryl Street. <laughs> Crowd chain for a highly unlikely outcome. Episode seven, The Force Awakens. Joseph? I will accept. Take it. All right, Joseph. Five questions. Five questions in the realm of The Force Awakens. Here's your first. In The Force Awakens, what are Leia's final words to Han? Bring him home. Correct for two points. Scrimshaw takes the lead. All right. Question two. In the beginning of The Force Awakens, what is the name of the ship that Han and Chewie are using in their smuggling operation? The Irvana. Correct, Woo. two points. Woo. That's a spicy one. Yeah. Question three. Why do BB-8 and Rey first interact with Finn? Or how do BB-8 and Rey first interact with Finn? 
Please repeat the question. How do BB-8 and Ray first interact with Finn? We're, we're looking for the catalyst that got them to interact. What was it? Uh, I will not editorialize. I will simply attempt to answer. Uh, Finn intervenes to help Ray in a fight. Incorrect. For the steal. BB-8 recognizes his jacket and they chase him and then they That's hit him with stick. That's correct. Two points. Two points. That is, Two points. That is a tough question. Tough it's question. a little tricky, but it's a fair answer. Alex answered it and that is a huge steal early on in round number two. All right. All right, here we go. Next question. Next question. Also known as the Crimson Corsair. Cors there you go, it's PT. I think I could help you complete this question if you need it. <laughs> it it is the, it is the, the Crimson, yeah, I'll just do it. Just do it. Also known as the Crimson Corsair, Finn seeks a ride off Tokadana with this Red Raider pirate. Sedan Athano. Yes, two points. Okay. Last question here, Joseph, last question. What is the name of the scavenger that nets BB-8 on Jakku? Tito. Two more points, all right. But that, that steal was huge, but Damon finds himself down six. It was but, a big steal, Christian, but you have to remember this is a five round match, and so you have the betting round where points could be lost or gained, and you also have the speed round, which relies on your ability to hit a buzzer and answer a question under two seconds. Joseph has plenty of life left in him. That's right. All right, so now Alex will spin. Alex, give you your fourth spin. There you go. <laughs> All right, Alex spinning the opposite way of the wheel. There's a spin. As Ken says, the spin In Australia, is like, the wheel spins well, the other way. This is the star of episode nine. Oh, wait, that's in episode three. Sorry, sorry. And it lands on. This could be a, this could be another Force Awakens. No, you will so spin, spin again. Spin again. Another I'll spin. spin it harder this time. Spin harder, please. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Cut to three hours later. The Force Awakens. Spin again, Alex. <laughs> I mean, look, we don't really we know what he's it weak could, in. It could happen point. again, Christian. The last, the last Jedi. There it is. Seems to be the, the, the villain of today's show. I guess I'm taking it. Are you staying? Are you yeah. Stay with it? Can after that. She gonna, you're going to stay? I'll stay. He's going to stay. Okay. He's going to take the last Jedi. All right, Alex, five questions in this slate for each worth two or one if you ask for multiple choice. Your first question, in the opening space battle of The Last Jedi, what is the name of Blue Leader? Tally Lentra. You got it, two, two points. points. You don't have to write. That's it, you don't have to write. Alex Damon now trailing Scrimshaw by four. Your next question, how many resistant, tra how many resistance transport ship launched from cruiser to try and make it to crate. See, it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> How many resistance transport ships went from the cruiser to try to make it to crate? 30. That is correct. Wow. Uh, right now, it's your next question. In The Last Jedi, what is the name of the ship that DJ commandeers during the escape at Canto Bight? The Libertine. Yes, it is. <laughs> this kid is ridiculous. It's also a uh, bar on Sunset. I did stand-up once in 2009. After being paid by the First Order, what did DJ call Finn? Five. Big F. Two points. Wow. All right, so now Alex Damon has a two-point lead on Joseph Scrimshaw, and he has one more question. That one is... In the film The Last Jedi, Rose states that if they're able to disable the First Order tracking device, that they won't realize it's off for one system cycle, which lasts how many minutes? Six. Yes, it does! <laughs> Six minute system cycle. And that steal was everything. That was a four yes, point was. swing there. Yes, it was. And the champion finds himself four points up. Going into round number three, Mark, which is the betting round. How's that go? It is the betting round. Wager away like you're on Canto Bite. In the betting round, this is round three. You each 
We'll see what we spin there on the wheel. It's going to land on a category. You're going to get one question from that category. That question is asked to the field. Once you get the category, you're going to wager points from zero to three. You can wager one point, two point, three points, zero points, however many you wish. Keep in mind, if you get the question right, you gain that many points. If you get the question wrong, you lose that many points. It works like round one. We'll ask you the question. Please write down your best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard. You get 15 seconds. We'll get your answer. All right. So with that, we'll bring the wheel up and then Alex Damon will use the force to spin the wheel and then we will pick that category. All right, Alex, there's the spin and there, there we, go. we go. Wonderful. <laughs> it's amazing. Seamless. It's high tech. Practice that for three hours today. Yeah, good. What will it land on? All right, will it be The Force Awakens? Will it be Meryl Streep? Back around and... Ooh. Episode Here four. Episode four. All right, so gentlemen, please put your points, how many you're going to wager, and here's the question. All right, uh, can I, Alex, can I just get a quick, just a quick thank you, Joseph? Just a quick look at your board. Just thank you Great. so much. Appreciate it. I like to know that. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, your question, gentlemen. On the Tantive Four at the beginning of A New Hope, what Imperial officer suggests to Lord Vader that holding Leia is dangerous and could generate sympathy for the rebellion? Five, four, Three, two, one, and Joseph, how many points? Two points. Two points. And, yes, and you and your answer. Paul Treatum. Correct. And Alex, how many points? Three points. And you bet. Uh, I said I a smiley said, or a frowny face. You didn't, didn't have it either. Wow. So Alex loses three points. <laughs> so it's now a. 2017, Scrimshaw actually gains a point there. He gained one the, point yeah. there because neither one of them knew it. Yeah. The answer, the answer was Dane Jeer. Jeer, J-I-R, Dane Jeer. Come on, have you ever seen the movie? Gotta do a video on him. Wow, so look at that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, so now with that, that was huge for Scrimshaw. That was huge. He is now only finds himself down three, and we get to round number four, which is that speed round. Make sure I can see those buzzers there. And Mark, how's that go? Well, this is how it works, Christian. I get to go be a game show host oh, and right. stand up in between the two competitors. Go for it. You see the buzzers right here. We're going to do a quick test run of each one. As soon as you all hear the question, even before the question is finished being asked, if you think you know the correct answer, feel free to hit that buzzer. If the buzzer lights up green, I am going to say your name. I will either say Joseph or I will either say Alex. Once I say your name in full, you have exactly two seconds to answer the question in the microphone. It takes you longer than two seconds or you don't know it, you will lose a point. If you get the question right, you will gain a point. Let's do now Scrim Show is going to be looking to gain some points here. And here we go. If you guys are ready, Alex, you're ready? Ready. Joseph, you ready? Yes, I am. Then let's begin. Okay. First question. Who's the first human character seen in The Empire Strikes Back? Alex. Luke Skywalker. Correct for one point. <laughs> Question two. What species are the axe-toting creatures that guard the entry to Jabba's... Joseph. Gamorrean guards. Yes. One point. <laughs> Question three. Han Solo meets Chewbacca on which muddy planet? Alex. Mimban. Yes. One point. Question four. This healing substance helped men... Alex. Bacta. Yes. And your final question. Final question in the speed round. Uh, Christian, give it one second here. The uh, buzzers seem to have chosen whether they're on the dark side or the light. And we are clear. Okay. All right, here we go. Last one. Producer Robert Watts. He's got a cameo as an Imperial in which film? Joseph. Return of the Jedi. Yes, he does. Wow. 23-19. 23-19. Four points. Four points as we get to the fifth and final round. 
Not a single question missed there, Christian. They're buzzing in. They're going tit for tat. They're taking turns. It is a four-point advantage once again for Alex Damon. In round number five, this could determine your winner. Each competitor is going to hear three questions from three different corners of the Star Wars movie trivia showdown galaxy. The first question here is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. Your last one, should we make it that far, is worth five meaty points. You all will have 20 categories to choose from, so we need three numbers from each of you to determine the categories that you hear the questions from. Uh, Joseph, you're currently trailing Alex by four, so Alex, we're going to get your numbers first. From one to 20, what do you like? Three, two, and seven. Three, two, and seven for the champion. Sticking inside of 10. Joseph. 20, 19, 18. Ooh. Going backwards. All right. High numbers. Very high numbers. Joseph, we start with number 20 for you. That comes from the category of The Force Awakens. Okay. First introduced in The Force Awakens, who voices the character of Maz Kanata? Lupita Nyong'o. For two points. But was it really her or was it the tethered one? <laughs> no, so, <laughs> from, the, from, the, from the movie. I know, the other movie, I get it. The bounce, the bounce it back now to the champion, you gotta hit this one. Category 19. Category 19 is Revenge of the Sith. Who provides the, who provides the voice of General Grievous? That's you, Joseph. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, Matthew Wood. For three points. <laughs> All right, now we get to Alex Damon has to hit his two-pointer here. That's right, Alex, your two-pointer, you selected number three, and that corresponds to the greatest film in the Star Wars franchise. Excuse me, it might not. I don't know what the dad did to my computer. Okay, well, I, I totally misspoke because it corresponds to Attack of the Clones, which is in fact not the best movie <laughs> in the Star Wars universe. I liked when the Muppet had the lightsaber, though. Uh, Alex, your question for two points and to regain the lead over Joseph. Who played Django Fett? Tamira Morrison. Yes, sir. All right, so Good now points. it bounces back to Joseph Scrimshaw. And his category is five pointer is number 18. Number 18, if you hit this, it bounces back to Alex Damon. However, if you miss it, Alex Damon retains the Star Wars championship. Here is the five pointer. What kind of poisonous creatures were used to try and assassinate Padme Almodala in Attack of the Clones? Cahoons. Five points for Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> Ultimately forcing Damon to have to hit his five, but he's gonna hit the three, he's gotta hit the three. All right. So Alex Damon gonna get kind of a practice one for points if you're keeping score at home. Uh, you selected category number two, and that corresponds to vehicles, weapons, and technology. Nerd alert. Your question, Alex. For three points. The resistance is forced to use what type of beat up ships to fight the approaching first order? Ski speeders. Yes, they are. For three, three points. points. All right. So it's come down to this. If Alex Damon hits the five pointer, he retains the title. However, if he misses, Joseph Scrimshaw will be the new champion. All right. So happy this is not going into overtime. <laughs> All right, Alex, for five points to retain the belt to defeat your mortal enemy, Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> your question comes, you selected category number seven, and that corresponds to the world of Solo, a Star Wars story. For five points and a free Grand Slam at Denny's, <laughs> your question is, what kind of speeder did Han steal on Corellia that he used for his escape with Kira? M68, nice, right? And your winner, and still,
defends the title. There he is. And it was all about that steal. It was all about that force away from steal. But he's taking the title, Mark. Really impressive. Yeah, Christian, you know, you just you love to see a great competition and you love to see the embrace of Scrimshaw and Alex David had. That was genuine. They really do support each other. They root each other on in life and in trivia. And so it's fun to see them go head to head, give each other such a great match every time and have such great sportsmanship at the end. It's really nice to see. All right, so with that, we are now going to throw it to the interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the great Jen Sturger, ladies and gentlemen. Jen Sturger is here. Guys, am I allowed to cuss on this show or no? No. <laughs> what is up, Chicago? <laughs> you guys did not disappoint. That match was so amazing, I ripped off one of my sleeves backstage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, let's see, I wrote down questions. Um, chicken parm sandwich, this is Mark's food order, sorry. Um, look, I think what that came down to was those steals in the second round. Like maybe, I don't know, I never know. Did you black out up there? What happened? Kinda, I just like hear the questions. I can't even see anything out here. I know, the camera's over here, but. Oh. See, I don't know what's going on. I got lost on the way to the stage. But look, <laughs> it's been you and Ken and Scrimshaw doing this like three-way dance for the longest time, you know? But I think it all comes down to, do you still want that match with Whitworth? Of course I do. Chicago, I think this is an obvious answer. Do you guys still want that match with Whitmer? Uh, Christian, you got some work to do. <laughs> but congratulations again, Alex. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Guys, Alex Damon. Give it up for Scrimshaw, guys. Man, all that came down to was who was gonna blink first, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, that is what happened. <laughs> I cannot disagree. Oh. Yeah, give it up for Scrimshaw, guys. But listen, you guys have had an amazing rivalry. You know, you faced each other live with Ken in that three-way in Los Angeles and now here in Chicago. And, and I think with it all coming down to basically one question, this crowd would not be disappointed at all again if we just redid that match all over again right now. I would very much like that. Uh, I would like to play Alex again. I would like to play Whitwer. I would like to play Whitwer and Alex together. Basically, I already, I already own many belts. I don't need a belt. I want to say Star Wars things in front of a thousand people <laughs> every night. I'm gonna let you go backstage and finish whatever's in that cup because I'm pretty sure it's alcoholic. It's beer. <laughs> Guys, Joseph Scrimshaw. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Joseph. And thank you to Alex. That was a hell of a match. And you know, one of the things, too, you know, Jen had mentioned as far as that Ken and Joseph. Ken, Joseph, and Ken were doing this dance, and that was the case for a little bit, uh, but I think yesterday changed that. I think we some found some new stars in Molly Damon. I think we found a new star with Andy Blanchard. I think we found a new star with, how about patron Andrew DiMolanta, right? And last, but certainly not least, she became a superstar yesterday. That's Laura Kelly. Laura Kelly was Phenomenal. Yeah, the, the reverberations of new competition, of new blood in the realm of Star Wars were felt throughout the greater Chicago area yesterday. It's almost like we knew our cast of heroes, and now we have a bunch of broom kids raising up their brooms saying, right. I want in, I am force sensitive. Well, look, this, is, uh, this was the thing, man. They, they, they promised to put on a good match. They put on a good match. The, and Alex Damon is just, it's unbelievable. I know I have my work to do, and I, every time I see Sam, I try to get him into it. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. I know it's the match. I know it's the match we want to see, but we'll, we will see for sure. But that's not all we got to do tonight. We have a little more to do.
do, but to let everybody know who's streaming, obviously check it out. Uh, if you have, if you keep, keep commenting on the live stream. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much. Thanks to all our patrons. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Let's get ready to smart on, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.